I love you. Alright, so. Let's see. I have a character. Okay, would you rather start a new character tonight or would you rather watch me play on my current character? Okay. Alright, well, then in the meantime, I'm gonna give you some insight. Um, I'm actually in the middle of one of the main missions. Um, no, that's okay. I'm trying to think. Um, okay, so like, you have the main, I, I'm gonna stop right here, like, because I can hear myself talk. Um, you got the main storyline, uh, which is, we're gonna call the Dragonborn storyline. You have that, you have, um, the vampire storyline which is probably my favorite you can either choose to be in the vanguard or a vampire but it's much more than being like a vampire in the vanilla game uh it's dlc obviously um but like if you're a vampire in the vanilla game you don't really get anything from it you kind of hurt yourself with it but with the dlc you can become a vampire lord which is actually Hey David, uh, I'm actually playing uh, Skyrim, but with mods and stuff. Um, I'm explaining to uh, Norma some of the uh, stuff in it. <clears throat> um, and then there's another Dragonborn storyline, which causes you to have to fight the very first ever Dragonborn. It's also another DLC. Um, that's really cool, because you have to go to a whole new location for that. Um, there's the guilds, there's the, um, Dark Brotherhood, which are assassins. There's the Thieves Guild, which, you know, are thieves and whatnot. Um, if you go into the Thieves Guild, you can eventually become a Nightingale, which is another, like, kind of guild of its own that's, like, very secretive. And there's only, like, there can only be three people in the Nightingale at uh, any given time. Um, there's the Companions, which are, like, a warrior guild. And there's something really cool about them that you can discover later on after joining them. Um, trying to think. There's the College of Winterhold, which is basically like a mage guild. And um, that's a fun little storyline. And then after you complete all the DLC and all that, there's... Um, there's a uh, <clears throat> a boss fight, which is the final boss fight there is. Um, and he's called the Ebony Warrior. And he is really tough. And he basically, like, he sends you a letter basically saying, hey, I've heard about all that you've done I want to showcase my skills and it, he is a demon he is really tough all right so I'm kind of wearing Mitch Matt's armor right this second because I don't really care Alright, so we're off to fight a dragon. Hey, you walked in my way. 
All right, so this is um, part of the beginning of the main Dragonborn storyline. This is where you fight your first ever dragon. Oh no, what I've do you want? For you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The Ooh. owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got okay. Thank you. I know what that's for, but I'm not gonna say it. I think it's because I just reached level 20. I'm actually very excited to do the vampire storyline. I have done both sides, and my humble opinion, it's just better to do, because you can join, like I said, you can join the vampires or you can join the, um, the vanguard. In my humble opinion, it's just better if you join the vampires. It's just better. It's better story-wise and it's more fun. Like, literally, Part of the story allows you to get a bow where you can literally make eclipses by shooting the sun out. So cool. Oh yeah, I got that equipped. Uh, I am very accurate, as you can see. It's okay. Uh, did you hear me explain like the guilds and their purposes? Explain in a, again in a minute. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. Okay, so you have the main storyline. It's called the Dragonborn storyline. Um, that's what I'm doing part of right now, actually. Um, you have a DLC Dragonborn storyline, which is you're the last Dragonborn there is. You get to fight the first Dragonborn there was, and you know, so like a big storyline with that. There's a Vampire Storyline, which is DLC, um, and you can join the Vampires, or you can join uh, the Vanguard, which is like a vampire killing organization. I personally think it's better if you just join the Vampires. It's much more fun. Um, there's, did you hear me talk about the, um, the Dark Brotherhood, the Nightingales, the Companions, the Thieves Guild, the College of Winterhold. That's what Mr. Power. I gotta open YouTube to see that one. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. All right. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere.
spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. Undercover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. Keep the red save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. I need to do, I need to, um... This is my first time ever playing this game with a headset on. Uh, I'm getting slowed. Nah, 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 G. I don't know what he's doing, but I'll take it. Alright, he's dead. Go ahead and crash. Well, we broke him. This is the first time I've ever had this happen. I've been playing this game for 10 years. See what happens. Increase my archer. Okay, well, looks like I'm at the fight of my lover again. I'm just so weird. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Okay. What's 
Oh, you better watch yourself, woman. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstone. <sighs> thank the you, thank you. The asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Thank you, thank Looks you. like that's it. Got to go. Let's see. Sorry about him bugging like that. The very first time I ever died in this game, ever, in my lifetime of playing this game, I died over there. <laughs> No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. Thank you, old man. Yep. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover! And make every arrow count!
bag now, but... Yes, it did. his lunch money. <laughs> Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Uh, no. I kind of stole his lunch money. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragon? What are you talking about? My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. I'm trying to think. There's something... Born with the dragon blood in the I slow. Old Tiber said. said. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons there. What time is it? Eight or nine? Okay. It's a lightning bug. It's called a torch bug. I'm getting, I'm collecting, hey, I'm collecting them for um, ingredients for like potions and stuff. Ooh, the Khajiits are here. And I know who that was. Basically, that was someone calling for me. We are creatures of the desert. The north wind chills us to the bones. Take a look. Funny story. Oh, okay. Funny story. This weapon right here, I remember. Um, I was watching Alan play. Me and Michael were watching Alan play this game years ago. He was actually right outside here. He was fighting a mud crab with orcish armor and an orcish warhammer, and he got killed by the mud crab. And uh, the mud crab. is one of the easiest things to kill.
<laughs> we still, well, I haven't in a while, but we've still picked on him ever since. Some of the stuff I have, I'm collecting because um, a lot of this, not a lot of the stuff I have, but some of the stuff I have, like that's not a vanilla game fish. You can't get that fish in the base vanilla game. That right there is a DLC item. And that's not vanilla. Um, that's not vanilla. That's actually something from, that's an ingredient from, um, Oblivion. That is also not vanilla. Wait a second. I'll sell these for now. That is not vanilla. May your road lead you to warm sands. Alrighty. Let's put on the backpack. Backpacks are not vanilla. I love you most. Thank you for letting me remind you. She's about to be angry. Oh, you're so cute. Mwah. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. I just want to go home and read. I believe that's her. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. I actually think that's her. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Yep, he's a bitch too. Um, once I get done with this mission, I'm gonna show you my favorite city. This is right run. This is basically the first major city you visit. Oh, and this is what my character looks like. Accident. Let me see, I got some pizza. The hair, I'm yelling. <laughs> wow. I'm eating. Because I'm hungry. Good, you're finally here. The all has been waiting for you. Yeah, your daughter told me about you. Summons. What else? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there?
The watchtower was destroyed, but we did kill a dragon. Um, he did throw one of your top soldiers around like a rag doll. I think it was cool. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Well, turns out I might be something called Dragonborn, but I think it's a load of bullshit. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? That's just what the men called me. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. The Greybeard? Are you a blonde beard? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. And um, what would they want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my march, power march. to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Thank Back you. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna show you my house in a minute. You can have multiple houses, by the way. This is gonna be my the new slave. Appointed me to be your house, Carl. You mean slave? Serve you. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. You like this guy? Who? You talking about y'all, Balgra? Oh, everyone loves him. Still here. I'll head back home if you need me. I am your sword and your shield. Lead the way. I was seeing if I was given the option to tell her to go to my house. I don't know if she's going to go to my house or go here. Because my house is like a DLC house. Well, it's not even DLC, it's more like a mod. Not a fan made mod, but like an official mod, because they have some mods that they um, added into the game, it's like canon or whatever. Alright, so 
by the way, these load times are were non-existent on the PS3. Like you would have to wait like five minutes every loading screen. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab one of my coffees that we got the other day, and I'm gonna drink. I am back, my love. Are you here? I am also cold. It is very, 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 very cold. Okay. Oh, hey. Gladly. my pet that is from um oblivion that is an oblivion creature so this is something not this is not vanilla that is something from oblivion and that is my daughter it's it's everything i could have hoped for i i know it's not much but i found a few pretty things they're in the chest in my room if you see anything you like please take it you've done so much for me it's... it's the least I can do. Of course. Hey. Mama! Wow, really? What do you get me? Oh man, I don't have anything on me right this minute. Oh, stop teasing me! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tease you. Uh... I thought, I really thought I had something. Hmm. I'm looking for a yes. sweet roll. Maybe I can give her that. By the way, when you build a house, you have to furnish it yourself. So you have to, you have to make each piece of furniture yourself. An alien M. That was a DLC called Hearthstone that they added. Oh, there we go. Sweet roll. She put some stuff in here. Let's see what she put in. She put apples. She put, ooh, okay. Hmm? What is it? What is it? Thanks. I'm right behind you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. I'll head back home if you need me. This is my bed. 
Well, maybe she doesn't stay here, but Long life to you, Thane. Let me see if she walks out. If she walks out then this is not gonna be my permanent home because I'll have to move. Yeah, I'll just move my creature, and my daughter, and my wife, and her to another house. That is vanilla. So that we can all live together. Are you. Castle? Yeah. Okay. So here's my favorite city. Let's show you. Let's show you. This is Ripton. This is home to the thieves. Where's Sapphire? Speak. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Alright, so I'm gonna do the initial starting mission for the Thieves Guild. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay, so I have something cool to, to show you and tell you about. It's some lore, um, but I, it's associated with an item. I'll have to show it to you in a minute. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Okay. Te technically, right now, Technically, I'm the leader of the Thieves Guild in a way, because um, usually it's typically viewed that the person that has this, the Grey Cow, um, usually whoever has the Grey Cow is the leader of the Thieves Guild, typically. That's how it's always been. Um, well, that is not supposed to be in this game. This is a... Um, a mod they had like a little mission for it and whatnot the the main thing about the great Kyle of nocturnal is that um well in oblivion the leader of the thieves guild wears it but see it's when you put it on the nocturnal the the god the daedra she cursed it to where whoever puts it on has their identity erased completely um because it was stolen from her and she wanted to curse the person that stole it so she cursed it and with how it works let's just say i put it on right now everyone would forget about me like you would forget that you were in a relationship with me my dad would forget that he had a son named logan and everyone else that knew me would just forget about me like i never existed that's the curse that's associated with it. So the, the cool thing about, well, it's cool and not cool because it's a blessing and a curse. That the leader, the Thieves Guild, their identity is always unknown. So whenever someone refers to the Gray Fox, which is the person that wears the Gray Cow, they're talking about multiple people over the years, but it's always known as one person because no one knows really about the curse. They just think that the person is like immortal. While in reality, it's someone handing off the Greg Howe multiple times. 
what you think about that little bit of lore I just gave you. might have but I didn't remember um give me one second okay let's do this everyone gather round I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention gather round all Okay, babe. Gather round all. Um, I will wrap it up very soon. No pushing, no shoving. Come Plenty on, bring you off. What is it this time? Patience, Blanche. This is a rare opportunity. I love you. I want you to get one. Down. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, Vegetable I give you... Time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. Please help me. What a... He said, what a waste. Waste Starving. of time. Damn. Go away. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. There's a reason why we're having, job, a, having a run of bad luck. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Alrighty. Alright, so I'll wrap it up here. And, um. I can stream this again for you soon if you'd like. Good to see you again. I love you. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship.